Good evening, everyone. Um, as you can probably tell, uh, I'm not working on the layout. Uh, I'm not even at home. I'm actually out of town on business. Uh, but I wanted to do a, a, an update uh, because I hadn't posted a video uh, for quite a while and just wanted to let you know kind of where things are and, and what I've been doing. Uh, for the last few weeks, I've been working on expanding my peninsula. Um, I think in my last video I was talking about adding about four inches of um, width on either side of the peninsula, so eight inches in total. Uh, and I've got that all finished. Uh, I've been able to reroute the track and uh, got all the track down. And uh, I've tested it out and it works fine. Uh, I've started to um, work a lot on the intermodal yard. And I've got some plans for that, which I uh, kind of want to keep close to the best. Um, I, I may be adding a scenery element there that um, you know I don't I don't want to divulge too much about, but I think it'll be really cool, uh, provided I'm able to do it. So you know, kind of kind of keep that one close to the best for a while. Um, I've I've been able to add a lot more yard tracks than what I thought in the intermodal area. So uh, once I get back home, you know, I'll do another video and uh, show you um, you know how that's worked out. I'm about to the point now of beginning to wire. So that's going to be um, a rather involved task, obviously because of um, having to run feeder lines um, everywhere, you know, not only around the outside of the layout, but also up the peninsula. And uh, I've, I've decided I'm going to run two sets of feeders, uh, one for each main line, and then branch off of those accordingly uh, for the yards. So I may. I may even run a third set of feeder wires uh, just to pick up the yards themselves. So that, you know, that'll be uh, interesting to see how all of that's routed. Uh, the other thing I have to do as well is install some, um, I don't know what you call them, I call them patch panels uh, for my DCC system where um, it enables you to, you know, to move the throttles around, to unplug and plug into the new, into the uh, other locations. I've got two of those. Uh, they're going to go on the either, either side of the peninsula. And uh, I do need to finalize the location of where all of my power uh, is going to go, my power booster and the DCC controller. Uh, I think it's going to go under the yard uh, where the engine facility is. So lots of things to do coming down the pike. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you an update and show you, show you um, or not show you anything, but uh, tell you uh, what I've been doing. So. Uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. I know uh, quite a few have uh, subscribed in the last few weeks. I appreciate that. Uh, one thing I, I will show you is I picked up a couple of models um, here, and hopefully you can see those. This is a, a 40 foot box car, uh, CB and Q, and it's it's a really nice um, kit. I'm th I'm thinking it's maybe roundhouse, but it has um, metal wheel sets on it which are pretty nice. I don't know if you can see those or not. And I also picked up a uh, covered hopper. And I've actually never seen this before. Um, seen this road name before. It is, uh, see if I can read it without my um, General Grain Incorporated. I had never heard of that road. Maybe some of you guys have, but uh, this is also a pretty neat model with uh, metal wheel sets in it. And, uh, you know, <laughs> as always, when you're out of town, you, you, you check to see where the hobby shops are first. Uh, so uh, I, I went to two of them. Uh, the cars I just showed you came from actually a hobby town store that had some used um, rolling stock, which I've never seen at a hobby town store before. But those were only $6.99 apiece. And I also picked up this set of dumpsters. This was from another hobby shop, so there's, there are three of those. And um, picked up a package of rail joiners. So um, I ran out of rail joiners the other night. <clears throat> I had bought some more track at a train show that I went to. Um, and I've also got some stuff to show you from the train show. Um, I did, a, did really well there. Um, I had sold some of my stuff um, on eBay that I'm not going to use uh, any longer on the layout. And uh, got uh, quite quite a, a few dollars from that, 
and uh, ended up buying a bunch of, um, well, let's see, what did I buy? But about maybe six 50-foot uh, boxcars, uh, three cabooses, 10 sections of track. Uh, what else? I can't remember. But um, anyway, lot, lots of stuff there. And uh, so I'll, I'll show all of that to you. Uh, one other thing I've done is I wired all of my Atherin Blue Box locomotives that I had for DCC. I spent, um, oh, it's probably a day and a half, uh, a couple of weekends ago, uh, wiring uh, all of those up. And I think I did 10 or 11 of those in one day. So um, I ha also had some issues where uh, a couple of the controllers shorted out. So um, I had to, had to get those replaced. But anyway... Uh, long story short, that's, that's kind of where I am, and when I get back, uh, which won't be until um, the middle of March, uh, you know, until I have a chance to get back and work on the layout again. So until then, uh, again, thanks for all the subscriptions and uh, for all of the um, comments and suggestions. I really appreciate it. So uh, take care, everybody, and I will see you soon.